Hello, this is Chaos Baloo, and welcome to more of this game! An RPG Maker game called Goddess that was made by a friend of mine. Um, last time we came to this place after getting kicked out of our old spot, we recruited her, this girl, this one, uh, this one, sort of, and we bought a new bow, although you didn't see that last part because it did it off screen. This time around, we're getting drunk. Um, so let's get on with that. Although, is there... There's totally a thing over here. What is it? Oh, it's just some herbs. That's a little bit disappointing. Oh well. Back to getting drunk. Can a man have a drink in peace? No. This town is right smack dab in the middle of neutral territory. Nobody really owns it, and that's great. Mm-hmm. There's a beast to the east, apparently. Okay. There's a monster on the road to the east. Um... So what you're saying is what you're saying is I should become a bandit. <laughs> well, I'm not sure why you're paying her then. I mean, it doesn't seem like she can do much to enforce it. I'd love to sit down and chat, but I'm really busy right now. Ah, nothing like a beer after a long day of work. If you say so. Define amazing. <laughs> this lady is crazy drunk. How could you drink so much? It's amazing. Uh, okay. More whiskey. Let's continue. <laughs> well, I gained experience. Oh, wow. Somehow, Hilda managed to level up by Red making an ass of herself. Can't argue with that result. Um... Smur... Small bombs. Okay, then. Now, back to the booze. Although, maybe not the drinking. Maybe... Maybe lay off on the alcohol a little bit. Well then, is this a stranger that recently took up residence in our little crossroad of a town? Name's Tolbius. People around here may look up to me, but don't let them fool you. I'm just the owner of this here pub. See, Winterchins have always been a free city. No mayor or ruler here. But turns out people end up wanting some kind of leadership figure anyway. Guess that's beating me for now. For a few years, I guess. Whether I like it or not, to be honest. But what about the Baroness? Does she live in that enormous mansion? She doesn't really run it. More like she just takes taxes. I know you're a stranger here, and the whole situation is a mess. I won't bother you with it. But to make it a quick story, she moved in a few years ago with her soldiers and her workers and built that eyesore of a palace. Then she used her goons to make pay taxes. There's nothing we can do about it. So we just put up with it. 
Indeed, we do. That's a good head on your shoulders. I hear you're a hunter. You, you're kind of in high demand right now. Oh. You know, the moment I heard about that, I knew I was going to have to kill it. I wasn't sure I would have to do it immediately, though. Mm. After the bridge, go north. Okay, then. Unrest Deska. A round of beer, a bottle of whiskey. Well, in good adventure fashion, I should carry at least a little bit of booze on myself. I have no idea what this will do, though. Uh, which one of these was cheaper? Okay, I'll buy one more because I want to use one. Okay, only Hilda will drink it. Hey, Hilda, want to share a beer with me? <laughs> Just have one. You'll feel better when you do. Oh, jeez. This stuff is awful. Why did you make me drink beer? The aftertaste is terrible. Ha! Drink some more and it'll start tasting better. No thanks. Well, I've spent 300 ducats on alcohol now. Um, I suppose so. It's better than beer, at least. Ah, whiskey woman, are ya? Here, to good health! Which is not what you'll get from drinking as much whiskey as you have been. <laughs> but anyway. Pour me another. You know what? What? You're really not that bad when it comes down to it. <laughs> I'm a... I'm a swordswoman. Let me pull up my sword. Die, monster! Die! <laughs> I'm a monster hunter. Well, that was interesting. I need more keys! Anyway, I guess we'll go to the east-ish? What does the sign say? Hear ye, hear ye! Notice to all ye citizens of Windershins! Starting on the next full tune, taxes increased by 2%. I'm gonna enjoy putting her in her place. I think. Cause it's gonna happen. Follow the path, cross the river, and go north. Hey, it's a sign. It probably tells me to go north. Uh, indeed do. do. Well then. Oh, but first, more mushrooms. Wait. I have enough willpower by default to do this. So let's, let's do it. You miss? Really? Disappointed. Okay then. This is quite far north from that path, I think. Like, did you really have a monster wandering this far away from its home? Just to pick off a few people who can probably defend themselves? I mean, not necessarily very well, but presumably they can defend themselves to some degree. Uh, you know, this is probably unnecessary, but yeah, that's what I thought. Here we are! This must be the pathway to the monster's lair. Looks like it's going to be a high climb. You ready, Chansey?
Hmm. I see a lily pad. Wait, okay. Does this do anything? King Snake, you poison me as well, don't you? What is with all the poison? Could have double attacked us there. Well, I killed it anyway, so it didn't matter. Nope. Cannot do interact with the lily pad. Oh, it's a box! How do I get that box? Oh, I should have double striked. Oh well, too late now. Mm. Aha! It's a basement key, presumably for that up building in town. Seriously? A game? This is starting to get old. I need to heal red. How did both of you miss? I may actually have to start buying healing items. Man, that'll be lame. Um, oh well. What the hell? What is this noise? That's a lot of snakes. Um, let's try this. Okay, they aren't very strong. So this will probably kill everything. So it's becoming pretty clear that the monster at the top of this place is gonna be a freaking snake. Because they're all snakes. Oh hey, it went behind the waterfall. Cool. Hmm. Boulder's blocking the path. See if you can push it, Hilda. Huh? I can't push that! Are you crazy? <laughs> Troll oh lol. Oh wait, it doesn't look like there's a path here? No, there isn't. Okay, there's only three of them this time, so I can probably just wipe them. Like so. As they have low HP. Um, oh, I see. Well, I kind of like this better than the 5 one, because this is less dangerous, but at the same time... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I don't see anything over there, so... Did I just see a cave that goes behind the waterfall? That seems kind of odd at this height, but... Whatever. We are presumably nearing the boss, so let us save. Presumably so. Careful, this has to be the creature's lair. Is it a giant snake? Well, in a manner of speaking... Please, don't be afraid. Yes, I can talk. Although I've only had my snakes to talk to all this time. We've been sent to slay you by the town of Witterchins. Slay me? Why? You should know why. You've been attacking people down on the road to the south. Do you deny it? No, I don't. I've attacked travelers. Then we must do battle. Prepare yourself. No, wait. Please hear me out. Um, I kind of want to kill a monster, but I kind of want to hear what she has to say. I did attack some people. But they only went for their animals. The people themselves ran off. You see, 
I got hungry. There are plenty of rats and small prey in this valley for my snakes to eat, but I'm too big for those. And so when I looked down and saw those horses, well, I couldn't help myself. I went down to ask if I could barter for them, but everyone ran off before I could say anything. So you're a horse thief. Die now. Um, yeah, that is kind of understandable, though. Thank you, strange woman. I've been up here alone for so very long. I have my snakes, but they make poor companions, I'm afraid. Uh huh. If she, I swear, if she tries to eat me. Wait, no, lamias don't have snakes for hair. Lamias are snakes with usually, well, usually with only a. He human head, actually, but, you know, let's not go there. Um, let's not go into that. Yeah, anyway. They don't have snakes for hair, is all I'm saying. And the way she moved, well, I believe she wa- what? 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 <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> No, well, um, yeah. interrupt what is it did did what I think happened really happen what do you think happened did you don't just go out and say it <laughs> I mean it's implied you don't say something that's implied otherwise it's overt and it loses a lot of its charm um Okay then. So you bewitched her. And got a lot of experience points actually. High quality bandages. But I didn't get any treasure. Well then, Lamia, what did we learn? Do not run after humans on the road because they'll think I'm going to eat them. I did not go down to the roads to try to eat horses. Very good. And where will you go hunting for, for your food from now on? <laughs> if you stick to the plan, the humans in the towns won't be afraid of you anymore. And they won't send hunters like me to kill you. That's good. Yeah, probably. Uh, but, uh, one other thing. They didn't send me up here to slay you after all. They asked for some kind of proof that you're dead. So, is it possible I can have one of your scales? Tee hee! I understand. Don't worry. Here, you can have one. Wait, so her name is Lamia? <laughs> well... That was certainly interesting. Oh, hey, and I got fully healed. That's nice. Bonus. Okay, then, what's the next mission? Ah, Red, you're back! 
Sure am. And I have this with me. It's a Lamia scale. That was the monster that was terrorizing travelers. Amazing! What an enormous scale! Surely it could only have come from a monstrous beast! It was truly a fearsome fight, but that didn't stop me from slaying, air quotes, it. Consider th this job done. Your deeds will surely spread around town, Red. And of course, there's the matter of payment. Here, you earn this. Something else I wanted to ask about. Looks like there's a new sign in the middle of town. So something about taxes? Yeah, unfortunately so. The Baroness has decided to squeeze us some more. Uh, because we haven't stopped her yet. She has money. And since she has money, she has soldiers. That's where the power comes from. If we refuse, we'll get roughed up. We're simple townsfolk here. But I'll tell you what, the townsfolk have almost had enough, I believe. Every day the complaints worsen. Push the people too hard, and the people have pushed back. But don't you worry about that. It's Wildershin's business. You must be exhausted after such a long journey. Go take a rest at the inn. I'll make sure to spread the word of your feats. <laughs> that that was yeah thought as much more money rooftop key number one and a note I've been laboring away all day and all night in this dark basement it must be so. The townspeople are too nosy! I only have peace and quiet down here! But it was all worth it. For I am finished! I have built the ultimate hand weapon! It can kill from hundreds of yards away! Hundreds! They think I hide it down here. But I'll show them. I'll show them all! I'll hide it where nobody would look on your roof. Presumably. The roof. Yep. Okay, so I need the last key. Then. I'm one key short. To getting the quote-unquote ultimate hand weapon. Um, let's see. I What I want to do is go to the Weepon shop. Because I have stuff to sell. Stuff like snakeskins, which are not worth very much, actually, and fangs, which are worth considerably more. Also, that. Um, and it looks like I can buy a... No, I can't buy this. But... I can buy a chain helmet. Well, I want to check something, actually. 34... You don't really matter, uh, in this regard. Thir you have- why do you- hmm. Okay then, in that case, I'll take one of these. You say it's made of fur, but it's clearly marked as leather hat. It is therefore presumably made of leather and not fur. Um, but I digress. I really want this, though, but I'll probably end up buying this next, since it's affordable. Uh, well, relatively speaking. Then again, if I'm lucky, I'll get a whole ton of money when I raid this place. Because it's going to happen. There's no way it won't. Hmm? Huh? What? My, your what? My scar is healed. Isn't that great, Red? You helped me. It took a while, but my wounds are all gone now. What? That yeah, it is. Like what just happened? I knew I'd get back to normal eventually. You just had to take care of me, is all. Uh, yeah. body is still broken. 
but the cuts and bruises on her face are all gone. I suppose we should have taken the bandages off a lot sooner. It's okay. I know you left them on just to make sure I was fully healed, Red. You always know what to do. Thank you, Red. I love you. Ah, uh, and also, what is happening? I, I, I'm, I'm just tired is all. I'm glad you're getting better, Moffat. It's been a long day, and I think we could all use a rest. A long day of walking back to town. <laughs> um. Well then, Red, should we hit up Tolbius for another job? Yep, I suppose so. May okay, you know, this is bothering me a little bit. This thing looks totally flat. Like, it should clearly go back further. Um, anyway. Good morning, Tolbius. Have you any other jobs for us? I do, actually. An urgent one. You see, the town of crops have been getting eaten by pests at night. At first, we thought it was just rabbits. But last night, one of the kids, Onion, spot up one of the real culprits. A fish person! A... F what? What? Thank you for say asking the obvious question. A fish person, or manfish, if you will, is a creature that is half fish and half man. They usually stick to rivers, but once they get a foothold in town, they'll get more and more bold. It's important we teach them a lesson now, and make them think twice about moving in on this town! You're the town's best warrior, Red. And we'd pay you greatly if you wait until nightfall and deal with them. You'll be eating sushi in no time! Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yep, it is indeed a disturbing notion. Fish people do not make good sushi. That is... I mean... I mean... You're technically not wrong, but... I feel you've somehow missed the point here, uh, without... Anyway. Um... I'm gonna stop off here, I think. So, join me next time when we make fi fish sushi for all! And maybe some fish puns. Oh, yes. All the puns! But until next time, this has been Let's Play Goddess, an RPG Maker game. With Chaos Blue, and have a good day. Bye!